very good. Hello, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. It's currently Thursday morning and I'm excited for this weekend. I don't have anything like big and exciting planned per se, but I'm just looking forward to the weekend and well, it is 4th of July weekend. So I guess that's exciting. And I just feel like this is gonna be kind of like the starting point for all of the other plans I have coming throughout the rest of the summer. So today I'm gonna be home all day. It's a work from home day. I'm just gonna do some cleaning and straightening up and then I have some computer work to do. I have a vlog that I want to edit and schedule to go up tomorrow. And then I need to work on the podcast. If you didn't know, I have a podcast with my best friend Julia. We had took a really big hiatus from it. And by the time you're seeing this, our first episode back will already be be up so I'll link it down below we have a video version that you can watch on our YouTube channel or Spotify and then you can also just listen to the audio on Spotify or Apple podcasts but I would really really appreciate it even if you don't really care to watch the video version I would really appreciate it if you would just subscribe to the YouTube channel anyway I think you need a thousand subscribers on YouTube in order to become a YouTube partner and then like start the process of being able to monetize so that would be really cool if we could do that because it does take a lot of work but later today we are gonna record our first episode back and I'm really looking forward to that and I think that's pretty much it for today productive but still kind of chill I love these days where I can just work from home and don't need to leave the apartment I do love going out and being social and being around people but I have to do it in like small doses at a time and these days where I can just stay home by myself is my time to like recharge. <laughs> it's really warm and beautiful outside. So I'm gonna grab my laptop and actually go down to my apartment's clubhouse. They have these really fun egg chairs that are super comfy and I feel like it would just be nice to curl up in one of those and just get my work done outside. So yeah, let's go do that. It's several hours later. I am about to record the podcast. So I have on my podcast merch. But here is my setup. I don't know if this is how it's gonna always be, but for right now, I feel like this is gonna be good. I got my laptop. We're just gonna be recording through Zoom. And I have my external microphone my headphones. Julia is calling me now. We're gonna record. So excited. Podcasting went really well and I'm so excited to be back. We're planning on just uploading with no announcement, no sneak peek, no trailer. We're just not saying anything and then we're just gonna post the first episode and be like, surprise! And I just can't wait to see everyone's reactions. By the time you're watching this vlog, that first episode should already be up. So like I said, I will link our YouTube channel in the description. Please go subscribe and show some love in the comments on that video. I'm so happy though to be back at it because it's really just like mine and Julia's weekly FaceTime calls. Like I missed talking to her every week and catching up on each other's lives, but I just hopped in the shower, washed my hair, and now I'm going to finish my cleaning before it gets too late and I get too tired. And I wanna try out these Dirt Devil cleaning slippers that I just got recently. I haven't tried them yet, but like how cool. Literally slippers you put on your feet 
and then you just kind of scoot around on the floor and you can dust and mop and this is so convenient because having a dog especially mine sheds a lot so I feel like I have to constantly be cleaning throughout the week. So things like this are great because I can just do like quick little touch-ups in between my big, full, like deep clean days. I'm gonna sweep up the floor with these and then I'm gonna mop it with my Dirt Devil steam mop. And Dirt Devil is sponsoring this portion of the vlog. Thank you so much to them for working with me again. It's so fast and easy. I love this. Both of these products that I'm using are available on Amazon and they are running their Prime Day this July 11th and 12th. So make sure you go click the link in my description so you can take advantage of the amazing Prime Day deal. Look how much dog hair is on these. It just clung on here so well. That's really nice because even if I sweep the hair just goes all over the place So I normally will just vacuum the floor But this is so much faster and easier and the pads on the bottom are removable and Machine washable so just throw this in the hamper. Okay now I am going to mop So the dirt double steam mop literally just uses heat and water to deep clean your floors your hard surfaces like tile laminate linoleum so i'm just going to fill up this water tank with clean water and then just pop this back into there so i just plug it in turn it on and i like to use it on the highest setting and you just wait a few seconds for it to heat up so you'll hear it start to make noise and then you start to see the steam and it cleans your floors just like that. So yeah, another quick, easy way to just do quick cleanups in between my deep cleaning days. And I love this because you don't have to purchase any special cleaning solution or buy disposable pads. The pad on the bottom of this also comes off and is machine washable. Look at that, ew. <laughs> So if you want to try out either of these products, the cleaning slippers or the steam mop, I will have a link down in the description. And make sure you take advantage of the Prime Day sale. Thank you so much again, Dirt Devil, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now I'm going to go put away my laundry, blow dry my hair, and eventually get ready for bed. Good morning. It's Friday. I am currently getting ready to go work at the salon. I'm doing front desk today and I'm really excited because a Fridays are like shorter days so I'm working 12 to close but I think I should be out of there around four o'clock so it'll be a nice short easy shift but I don't know like yesterday was kind of perfect to like recharge my social battery and I washed and blow dried my hair last night so I'm just looking forward to having my hair done nice and wear a cute outfit and you know, go out and be around people. But I'm happy that I'm doing the front desk because that's just so easy. <laughs> I feel like maybe some people might think like, well, if you can do hair, like why would you want to be a receptionist? You know, like having to do laundry and take out the trash and stuff like that, cleaning up after people. There are definitely times where I feel like I don't know, well, like, I went to school and I can do hair, like, this kind of feels like a step below that in a way sometimes. But honestly, I really like doing it. Like, I voluntarily, if you didn't know, the salon that I work at at the moment, I do the front desk sometimes during the week. I've actually been doing it a little bit less lately than I was because now I started doing hair again, so I'm doing that a little bit more frequently. But um, I like sought that job out, that position. Like I wanted to do that. So I just answer the phone, get clients scheduled, greet clients when they come in, get them checked in, 
get them something to drink if they want. I do the laundry, check people out when it's time to pay, stuff like that. But I love it because it gives me that fix of like being in the salon, interacting with people, but like not as much because obviously when you're doing someone's hair you're really like stuck with them throughout the whole appointment and it's way more direct more personal but when i'm just doing the front desk and i'm just like greeting them and then checking them out if they're like kind of a weird or problematic client not that we get a lot of that but you know i only have to deal with them for a couple of minutes it's not as much work as actually doing hair <laughs> And if I want to sit down, I can sit, which is great. And there are some days like today where I'm looking forward to going into work, but I'm really not in the mood to do hair today. So it's kind of perfect. So I can just kind of sit back and watch everybody else do hair. <laughs> and then on my way home, I'm going to swing by my friend's house because she is going out of town for the weekend. And I told her that I would watch her dog for her. So I'm gonna go pick her up because I have to pass by her place on my way home anyway. And Benny is gonna be so excited because her dog is his best friend in the whole world. They love each other and they're gonna have so much fun. And then next weekend I'll be out of town and she's gonna watch my dog for me. So they're gonna spend two weekends in a row together. It's gonna be so cute, but I am currently trying to do a different hairstyle i'm trying to do like a little soft bend so i'm trying to like you know do a little like c and then turn it the other direction and then back this way This is like kind of how the Kardashians do their hair, you know, like that slight wave. Whenever I'm watching their show, I love when they are like getting their glam because I love to watch their hairstylists and their makeup artists and see what they're doing. Like half the time I'm paying more attention to that than I am like whatever they're saying. <laughs> And these front pieces, I'm just curling. And then just kind of passing the flat iron over them to soften it. Then I'm gonna put a little texture spray in it. This is the Amica Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray. Gonna kind of zhuzh it a little bit, give it some more volume and like mess it up a little bit. Cause I feel like the whole point is that it's supposed to look kind of like undone and messy and effortless. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of serum. This is the Fanola Reconstructing Fluid Crystals Serum. We'll do like a pump and a half of that. And I'm just gonna run that over the top because my hair gets pretty frizzy, especially when it's really humid out, which it is right now. I'm kind of thinking about maybe getting a keratin treatment. Not to straighten my hair at all, like I do love my natural curls and I like having the option to wear my hair like that, but I just feel like Especially in the summertime down here in the south, my hair gets so frizzy and I also feel like, especially now that my hair is getting so long and I have my row of extensions in here, it just takes me forever to blow dry it. And even when I do blow dry it, like the top just gets so frizzy. Anyway, there's the hair. I love it. And I'm really, really loving the long, dark hair. Like for a while there, I kept going back and forth and I was like, do I want to cut it? 
do I want to go a little bit lighter, like add some dimension to it? But especially now that it's summertime and I have a good tan going, I just love the long dark hair. I'm going to put a little bit of makeup on and finish getting ready and then I'll show you my outfit. I'm wearing my new Doc Martin sandals for the first time today. I'll see you in a little bit. Here's my outfit for the day. This dress is very very old. I think it's from Forever 21. Just like a stretchy ribbed midi dress and then i put this silk button up on top from lily silk it's hot as all hell outside but it's always freezing in the salon the air condition is always blasting so especially when i'm not doing hair and i'm just like chilling and in the front i'm always cold so wearing layers and then my new doc martin sandals these are the blairs they just came in the mail the other day, so this is going to be my first time wearing them out. And this lip combo, I think, is my favorite. I did this yesterday when we were recording for the podcast, and I love it because it looks so natural, but it also just makes my lips look really pretty and, like, plump and full. So I used this Milk Lip and Cheek Tint in the shade quickie and i just tapped it on my lips and then i topped it off with the Too faced lip injection maximum plump gloss this is going to be my go-to all summer especially on like a really light makeup day or a no makeup day that's my look for today i am going to go ahead to work then pick up Zena. <gasps> he heard he lifted his head up oh, oh my god i can't wait to see how excited he's going to be when i get home with her Ready? Look who's here! It's Zena! Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you guys- oh, careful. Are you guys happy? Oh my goodness. Hey. Yay! So I'm home now, obviously. It was a pretty good day, nice and easy. I left there at 4.30. Now it's almost 5.30. I just cut up some watermelon. I'm gonna have that as a little snack while I start dinner. I just put a chicken breast in some water to boil, threw in this chicken taco seasoning, and then when it's done, I'm gonna shred it up, and then I'm gonna just do like a taco casserole kind of thing. Don't mind them pity noises. If you have a pit bull, you know. It sounds scary, but they're just playing. I saw something similar on Instagram that kind of inspired this. So I have this taco rice and pasta blend with cheese and a taco flavored sauce so i'm gonna cook this once the chicken is done and then i'm gonna throw the shredded chicken with this and some black beans cilantro and cheese into a pan and then i'm gonna bake it in the oven for a few minutes i'm not sure how it's gonna turn out but like how could it be bad you know and i feel like it'll be a really easy thing to heat up and i can have the leftovers tomorrow here's that casserole very good super easy and very tasty just took the dogs out for their last potty breaks and now i am going to clean up this kitchen and um maybe have some wine and just chill on the couch eventually get ready for bed and i will see you in the morning i have two clients at the salon tomorrow so i will see you in the morning good morning kids Good morning, happy Saturday. I'll be honest, I wasn't feeling the best when I first got up. The dogs are great, but I decided to let them both sleep in my bed last night. And at first it was fine, but you know, throughout the night they both kept getting up and moving around and jumping off the bed and then jumping back on. And at one point I was literally like falling off. I was just like cramped on the edge. They were just taking up the entire bed. So um, it was very uncomfortable for me and I don't think I actually fell into a deep sleep 
at any point last night. And then my allergies were just really bad this morning. They have been like all week. So I finally took some allergy medicine and hopefully I'll start feeling better. I just need to get in the habit of taking it consistently every morning. And I don't know, I just woke up and I was like, ugh, I really don't feel like going to the salon. Like I love doing hair, but it's still work, you know, it's still a job and I'm not always in the mood to do it. And a couple months ago when I booked clients for myself on this day, I didn't realize at the time that this was 4th of July weekend duh and all of my other co-workers blocked out the day and took off so i'm like oh that's kind of a bummer because i feel like everybody is out celebrating the holiday weekend and i'm just at work but honestly all of my friends are out of town anyway this weekend i didn't have any plans so i may as well just go work a little bit make a little extra money i've decided let me change my attitude and I'm gonna make today be a good day. My first client is one of my regulars. We just do a root touch up on her and then I do a gloss on the ends to refresh that. And then my second client, I had gave her a haircut months ago. So I know who she is and I'm familiar with her hair, um, but she is booked for a highlight haircut. So not entirely sure what she wants to do. If she just wants like a balayage, or something more dramatic, I don't know, we'll see. But from what I remember, she has very dark hair. I am just gonna touch up my hair a little bit, finish getting ready, and I will see you at the salon. So like I said, client number one was just coming in for a touch up. So I just did her roots and then a gloss on the ends. And then client number two, she had a very grown out ombre situation just in the back of her hair like the bottom half underneath in the back and she just wanted to bring that blonde up higher and she said that she likes for it to be a warmer like honey blonde not too light not too cool so I just did teased slices all through the back and just kind of picked up the pieces where she already had blonde ends and then I just feathered it up so it would be nice and blended and then she had a few pieces in the front just on the ends where you could tell she had old highlights that were starting to kind of lighten up a little bit and she wanted to darken that so that it would match the rest of you know her natural dark brown hair color so I just put a gloss on those pieces in the front and I completely forgot to get an after clip but it came out really pretty can you tell from my face that I just woke up from a nap a little while ago. It's currently almost 5.30. My clients went really well. I just had the two. It was a very chill day and went very smoothly. I was recording the process with my second client and then my freaking camera battery died. I'm so annoyed. I brought my camera and I was all excited because I was like, oh, it's not gonna be a chaotic day. I'm not gonna have to rush so I'll be able to get footage and get good after pictures and all of that and then I just totally didn't check the battery and didn't bring a backup and then my phone was dying as well so I was like <laughs> great but I still could have like got some after pictures on my phone but then I honestly just forgot because at the end I was just so caught up in like oh I'm done I just want to like hurry up and get out of here and like clean up quickly and yeah didn't get any after pictures, but I was so tired when I got home because I slept like crap last night. So I ended up taking a nap and now I just got up, took the dogs out, reheated some of that food I made yesterday. And I'm gonna have this for dinner. And I'm gonna go watch, and just like that, the Sex and the City reboot that is going to be it for my night because i still just feel kind of tired so i just want to chill and then go to sleep early and hopefully i'll get a good night's sleep tonight and i'll feel better for tomorrow so i will see you tomorrow good morning let me hold on 
let's pause that for a second. I got the fan going because I just got out of the shower and the dryer's running. But yes, hi, hello, good morning. It's around 11.30 and it's been a super productive day already. I took the dogs out for a nice long walk, made myself some breakfast, edited a video, and just took a quick body shower because I need to get ready to go to my wax appointment. I'm getting my monthly Brazilian and then I'm gonna come back here work out and then get a little more computer work done because i have one more thing left to edit i have to edit that podcast episode actually and i don't think i mentioned it yet my brother is actually coming to town to visit me he's staying with me for the week and then we are flying out to florida on friday to go visit family and he should be getting here really late tonight he is driving down from our parents house in pennsylvania so i just want to make sure that i get everything done that i needed to do anything that's like left on my to-do list that way i don't have to worry about doing anything and like having to work while he's here and i can just spend the whole time with him and then i just have xena for one more night because my friend is coming back tomorrow morning and she's gonna come pick her up so i'm really looking forward to this week ahead it'll be smooth sailing after today so that is the plan i'm gonna let this dryer continue going i'm washing my bed sheets again because i let the dog sleep with me the last few nights in a row last night ended up being way better than the first night i actually slept really well but my sheets were gross so i'm washing them and then tonight they're gonna have to sleep in their crates because I just want clean bed sheets. Let that keep going. I'm gonna go get dressed and I'll see you in a little bit. Just got back from my wax, gym. I'm exhausted and it is so hot outside, but got a couple packages so the first package is from amazon nothing super exciting i needed more filters for my water pitcher i also got this lip gloss which i don't even know why i got it <laughs> like i don't really need any more lip gloss but i saw this in someone's youtube video recently Maybe Carly Bible or Taylor Wynn. Oh, it smells really good. But it just looked so pretty. I think it's technically like a lip oil. It has like a pina colada smell and it looks really nice. And it feels really, really good. Okay, well, I'm glad I got that. <laughs> it's the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss. I will link it down below. And this one is in the shade, let's get physical. And then I got a package from Anna Luisa, the Lucy bracelet. Will I be able to put it on myself is the question. Yes, I got it. I was gonna say, I might have to wait for my brother to get here to fasten it for me, but I got it so cute it's like super delicate and then it just has these little flowers and then i got this cuff i just love a bunch of bracelets clearly and this cuff also so cute this one on the bottom is the emma and then this one is the drew I'm going to make myself a little snack and then I am going to get back to work. I'm like halfway through editing the podcast episode. So I'm going to go finish that while I cool off and stop sweating and then I'll go hop in the shower and yeah, I'll check in later. Hello, it's several hours later and it's currently... Five minutes to nine. Nick texted me a little while ago saying he's 20 minutes away, so he should be here any minute. I showered and washed my hair and it's looking a little bit crazy. It's like 75% dry maybe. I am just 
gonna wear it curly because I feel like most likely this week we'll probably hang out at the pool and like the beach and stuff a lot. And I'm assuming that they are working because he's here. It's perfect though, I got all of my work done. Apartment is nice and clean. So I got everything done that I wanted to. But I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here so I can go spend the week with my family. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this weekend in my life. Don't forget to click the link in my description and check out those Dirt Devil products and take advantage of the Amazon Prime Day sale. And I'll see you really soon in my next video. Bye.